Hi Pisces and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for October. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing well. And this is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces. And we can get a sense of the energies and messages for you in October so that you can plan accordingly. So I've already shuffled quite a bit. I'm just going to give it a few more shuffles and we will get started. Okay, so one card wanted to be known. And this is what we have for the awareness for the week. We begin with the Knight of Cups. A lovely court card to have. This is a kind and sensitive knight who is dreamy and romantic and thoughtful and more than likely pretty sensitive. Here he is offering the cup. This is an offer to you, a possibility for a connection with someone else, an emotional connection, one that brings delight, one that may bring joy or happiness for those that are dating. You could be dating Knight of Cups type of people. Water signs, again, caring, thoughtful, might bring flowers, might bring candy. Others would benefit from this type of energy of being expressive and telling someone how you feel about them, caring. But the Knight of Cups, this is a lovely card to have in terms of finding the dynamic of, of um, relationships that matter. It's the possibility for that to happen. And with this beautiful offering, this knight looking right here, this knight might be seeking a happy family. Here's the Ten of Cups, and we see the couple raising their arms to the cups. We see the children dancing and the town in the distance. It's about community. It's about the dream of a happy family, however you define family. Having it all. You work hard for the love of your family, able to express your love. This night, looking in the direction here, you may, for some of you, you may be hoping to find your knight in shining armor. You may be hoping to have a loving family, a connection, a connection to community, the joy of children, the joy of pets, whatever it may be, the stability and the foundation here of having this loving home. In terms of guidance for you, Pisces, the world, the final card of the Major Arcana. It's a card of fulfillment. It's a card of contentment. It's a card of successfully reaching your dreams. So if your dream is related to family or to love or to relationships, this bodes well. This is the universe at large here, setting down the messages and all the little intricate things that happen and how you respond to them on your journey and the actions that you put into it lead to success and lead to achievement. And here's your time to dance, to wear the purple sash, to have some fun, and to be within the laurel wreath of success. Literally, the world is going pretty good for you. And it's a matter of what's next, because we just don't stop. We continue to move on. We think about what's next and how we contribute to the world, what we add to the world. Our small part, that's our world, but our world is part of a greater world. So here's the, the conclusion of something, and then now something is beginning. So what's interesting with this guidance card of your next journey that you might be thinking about Here's the seven, seven of uh, swords. And we see this fella making off with the swords, leaving base camp and looking behind. This could represent someone taking advantage or trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Uh, it could be something dishonest, something not at face value, something that you need to keep your eyes open and you need to be aware, and you need to realize that sometimes people are phonies or fakes, and that you have to see through them. 
by the same token, this could also suggest, for some of you, but not all, this may be a need to go out on your own and to do things your way, and you're taking what you need as maybe a lone wolf, moving away from the group collective, going your own path. So there's always this interesting idea about the Seven of Swords, the trickster, the shady character, the dishonest fellow taking and making off with something of yours, perhaps. Or is it, for some of you, the feeling that you need to leave a situation and take what you need in order to survive or order to move forward? And finally, let's take a look at possible outcomes. So possible outcomes. There's some discord. There's some arguments, perhaps. There's some uh, sense of people not working together at odds, and it could go to ego, it could go to pride, it could go to a bunch of um, people who want to be in charge and no one wants to follow, <laughs> you know, too many um, bossy people, perhaps. You can see with this illustration, the boys, I don't, who knows what's going on in the figure, in, the, in this illustration. But this is a sense where maybe people are not working together. This kind of annoyance, this pettiness happens all the time. We deal with situations with people who are less than honest or shady. We have arguments or conflict because we're not getting our way or we're being bamboozled. So with this five of wands, pay attention to the relationships. If a dynamic at the office or in a relationship are not working out, maybe it's time to have an honest conversation. Maybe there needs to be a discussion flat out to say this isn't quite happening the way it should be. We're never going to move forward if we don't do something about it. I suspect that may be a good strategy because here's the Ace of Swords, which is really the no, no BS <laughs> sword. BS is over. I'm so sharp, I'm going to cut it right out. Piercing the crown, using your smarts to deal with situation, using your reasoning and your intelligence to problem solve, to strategize, to think of new ways to either approach a problem or to be having enterprise, new ideas, new thinking, looking for facts, being very clear, communicating what you think, honestly and truthfully. It's a powerful sword and use it wisely and you use it for the truth in the matter. You look for the Ace of Swords to cut through the nonsense, just slice right through it. Deal with facts, deal with intelligence, deal with um, what you see and you know, and again, whenever I see the Seven of Swords, it's always a matter for someone to pay attention to what people say and what they do. You know, there has to be some consistency and some people are very good BSers and can swing a good tail. But when you see behind the scenes what they're really doing, then you learn a lot. So the Ace of Swords would be, be smart about this. Use some type of strategy to deal with the competition or the conflict or the arguments, the pettiness. Very interesting, Pisces. Let's get some more information from the Oracle cards. This will be an affirmation for the week. I love these cards. I think they're great. I highly recommend them. You can check out the link in the video and it'll take you to my website and you can just see the cards. Crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. Cross that bridge, mend, heal, connect. Family and love, world opportunities, and then a little bit of 
conflict. You're going to have to deal with that and then move on. Mend and release. And then something new. You know, I feel that it's the end of, end of something really good for you and a path. And there's the next path is you're ready for you. Ready for you to take. Okay, and now I'm going to choose a card for healing. I think everyone could benefit from some healing. Career transition. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So for some of you, this may resonate. For others, perhaps not. Um, but it's a nice reminder about life purpose. And what is your life purpose? Is your life purpose encompassed within the world here and with the completion? And finally, let's see what we have for love. Messages for love. Love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. Love makes the difference, and love makes the difference uh, in addition to romantic love, family love, friend love, the love of the pursuits in your life, you know, the things that you love to do. Fill yourself up with love, and uh, hopefully it can lessen the sting of conflict, of seven of swords type of figures. Love makes the difference. Let the love come to you. The offerings, give yourself the chance to love. So Pisces, this is what I have for you for the week. And I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share this video, and comment below. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.